This tutorial is based on Windows 11. For other versions of Windows, please refer to Microsoft's official documentation. Go to App Center, search for SAN Manager, and install the app. Once installed, click Add LUN to create a virtual disk. Enter the LUN name, description, and capacity. For best results, choose Thick LUN and use SSD-based storage. Click OK to confirm and wait for the creation to finish. Next, go to Target. Add Target, select the LUN you just created, assign an easily recognizable IQN, and click OK. Dot. Press the Windows key and R together, type ISCSICPL, and hit OK. In the Discovery tab, click Discovery Portal then enter the NAS IP address and the ISCSI port number. This must match the port set in SAN Manager. Settings. ISCSI. Service port, default is 3260, so be sure any changes are synced. Return to the previous page and click OK. Now go to the Target tab, select the discovered target, and click Connect. Click OK in any pop-up windows to continue. If the target status shows Connected, the virtual disk is now linked. Press the Windows key and R together, type diskmemt.msc, and click OK to open disk management. Confirm disk information before disk operation to prevent damage from misuse. Right-click the unallocated disk space and select New Simple Volume. Follow the wizard from Next to Finish to complete formatting. Windows will automatically assign a drive letter. You can now use this NAS volume just like a local hard drive. By default, ISCSI doesn't require login credentials, so any device on the LAN can connect directly. To prevent unauthorized access, enable CHAP authentication. CHAP is a security protocol for ISCSI. With standard CHAP, only the NAS verifies the client's identity. With mutual CHAP, both the NAS and client verify each other, providing stronger security. To enable CHAP, Go to SAN Manager. Settings, find default ISCSI CHAP. CHAP Authentication, set a username and password, then click Save. Go back to the target page, select the target, click Edit, enable CHAP Authentication, and click OK. The system will use the CHAP info you just set. If you need different credentials, choose Custom to enter them manually. Press Win plus R, type ISCSICPL, and hit OK. In the Target tab, select the IQN, click Connect. Advanced, enable CHAP login, and enter the name and password from NAS CHAP settings. Click OK to finish the connection. To enable mutual CHAP authentication, set a different username and password from the first one, then click Save. Return to the target page, select the target, and click Edit. By default, it will use the mutual CHAP info you just set. For other credentials, select Custom and enter them manually. Enable CHAP Authentication and click OK. Press the Windows key and R together, type ISCSICPL, and hit OK. Switch to the Configuration tab and click CHAP. Enter the mutual CHAP password from the NAS and click OK. Reconnect to the target IQN, click Advanced, enable CHAP login, and enter the client CHAP credentials. Then check Mutual Authentication and click OK to complete the setup. 